even need an intro. Look at just fucking hear that shit. She sounds good. All right, guys, but I'm gonna be reviewing the long tube headers, the pace setter long tube headers, and the pace setter H pipe right now. Let me just go do something, get to a good road where I can hear everything fine. Let it warm up for a bit. It's pretty cold right now. Let it warm up. Uh, then I'll do some. Uh, I'll be explaining it. The sounds, how uh, price and everything. Like, try to explain the best I can. See if it's looking into buying it and maybe consider buying it. I'm gonna let you review it. I'm gonna give you a review and see what you think about it. And uh, yeah, so let me just let it let it warm up. Go to a road to where you can hear it good. And yeah, so I'll see you in a bit. back so uh yeah so let's get started with this review the first thing you're probably thinking or one one or two so is how much does it cost with the long tube headers and the h pipe and it's actually it's a pretty it's actually a pretty good amount not too much it's came out Oh shit, I'm falling down. 530. That's what the long tube headers, the H pipe and all that. Okay, and the only bad thing about the long tube headers is probably that it doesn't have an X pipe for you to choose of. And the paint rust is, it rusts on the long tube headers. So, so yeah. So what I did is I, uh, I did it wrong though. I painted it with the, I think it was like 2,000 degree paint. I got it from O'Reilly, but uh, I forgot to take the paint before off. So it, it just killed everything off right now, and nothing doesn't have any paint right now. So what I would do is take the black paint that it comes with off and just paint it with the 2,000 degree paint, spray paint, and you should be good for a while for, for it not to rust. But as a sound, it sounds pretty good. But when I had my just an X pipe, no cats, no mufflers, it was loud. It was just like loud all over the places. At 2,000 RPMs, it was the loudest, and it was like, like really, really loud. So with this H pipe, it, it's still loud, but it toned it toned it out more. Like, I can hear it, but it toned it out a lot more. Like even on the on the idle, I think it's a little bit quieter on the idle from here, from uh, the idle and some other setup I had. But yeah, that's one of the major things. The fitment, the fitment, it was pretty good. Not, it doesn't hit anywhere. It should be pretty easy. I don't have to lift the engine up, but everything was pretty easy. Should well, it wasn't that easy. The fitment was pretty easy. It wasn't that bad. But um, yeah, this shouldn't be that bad of a fitment. It 
it, when I'm on the highway, it doesn't drone that much unless you're like at 2,000 RPM. That's when you, you can hear it, but it's no drone. It's actually pretty. You can't really hear it. Not that bad. Downshifts. Pretty good. It doesn't pop. It's dirty here. It doesn't pop, so downshifts are pretty good. Not too bad. On my idle, you can't even hear it inside. But yeah, I'm gonna go to a place right now, rev it for y'all, see, see a full revs. I think it's, it's loud as fuck when I rev it. But uh, other than that, they're not a bad product. Pace that are love to are not that bad. On, on, other than the paint rusting, that's probably the worst thing you can, it could happen to it. And I just hated that, probably not hated, but the H pipe, they, they didn't give you an X pipe to go with it. There was only an H pipe for the pace setter. But I, I might end up putting an X pipe here. And uh, what mufflers do I think I should get? I'm thinking about Corsa or Burl Attack. I want a good tone but loud setup. Just give me pace setter, lunch of pace setter, H pipe. And right now I don't have mufflers, but I, what mufflers do you think I should have when I put the X pipe? There's the rest. 